I thought we could actually start from the beginning. The debut EP came out in 2016, but when and how did actually Hero start? Um, it started out with uh, CERN and I. CERN is the, the other guitar player. Uh, we have been longtime friends, and uh, suddenly we found ourselves in a position where his old band stopped and my old band stopped so we decided like every other musician that we should form a band and uh, start writing music together and that must have been in 2011 maybe uh and we slowly started writing the first couple of songs there leading up to getting a record deal and releasing the ep in 2016 so that's the, the short version, I guess. You don't mind me asking, why was there such a gap, you know, in 2011 and 2016? You know, many new bands, they like want to push the first demo or EP out as soon as possible. Yeah, we, we wanted that as well, but I guess we didn't write uh, good enough songs when at the end of the day. So, uh, yeah, that was basically it. We needed some time to, to figure out what, kind of kind of style that we wanted to write in so um, yeah that's why it it took so long i guess let's go to the upcoming album alternate realities with what kind of uh, ideas did you start to work on this album um i guess it started out with uh i was doing a promotion tour in japan like a couple of years ago with um with our debut album. And whenever I walked into a uh, record store, I needed to go to the hard rock slash heavy metal section to, uh, to find our album. So uh, I, I kind of knew that at some point we needed to maybe embrace the more hard rock ish uh, sound and do that like even more, than what we've done before so that was like the main idea that that we wanted to to sound heavier than than before and um that that was the the basic uh like start start off point and then uh, heavily being heavily inspired by all the the metal core bands out there bring me the horizon or or whatever uh it was it was quite simple and easy to to go down that road in our own way uh, of course but like wanted to to explore that that sound i read somewhere that you have been working hard under the pandemic so how has it been writing and recording during this time it has uh it's it's been challenging i think um we released our second album just when uh Denmark and the rest of, of Europe closed like totally closed down so it was kind of we had like a 15 16 show tour coming up and it all got canceled so we were we were quite bummed out that we couldn't support that album so for me personally it it, it took a couple of months before I I found an the energy to start writing new music again so uh so when we we finally got there and, and found the inspiration to start all over again then uh then it was okay we're happy we're lucky to all everyone is based in copenhagen so even though that we we were not allowed to meet up we could like meet separately in a way so we haven't been in a situation where we needed to write um music over like zoom or skype or anything so we just met up separately in in the studio and, and did our did our thing so it's it's been okay but but challenging i guess uh, you mentioned the uh, kind of new musical direction but uh what are these uh 10 new songs about it's um it's about me i guess it's about my background and uh and in some situations and, and a, a big like breakup with my family due to like religion stuff. Uh, and it wasn't like something that, that we decided that we should do a concept album about this. But when, when I started writing the, the lyrics, it, it quite 
fast appeared to me that there was a topic there that that I needed to address at least. Um, so it's it's a it's a dark and heavy topic. So it's very easy to put that into a more heavier sounding record, I guess. Could you kind of tell me a backstory of a one like special song from there? Well, it's like the, we just really released a single called Lead the Blind. And it's for me the song that really kickstarted this lyrical theme in a way. Because it uh, it's about uh, a situation where I needed to uh, to cut ties with my entire family. And finding myself in a position where I needed to, I guess, um, see myself in a different point of view. Like how do you how do you live and how do you uh how how do you 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 breathe when all your your family and, and the backbone of your life is suddenly gone that you need to rebuild everything in um, in your life so that that song is definitely the one that that kicked off the whole process for me you mentioned that uh you couldn't really tour the last album because of the pandemic. And now it seems that in uh, Finland and Denmark, things are maybe finally starting to open and staying maybe open. Yeah. So how, how hard has it been to plan things ahead with this new album? Yeah, it's, it has been very hard because um, we learned from the second album that it's not a very good idea to release music when the world is... Uh, is undergoing a pandemic because nobody really cares about new music. They just want to survive, I guess. Um, so uh, we 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 kind of knew that we we were going to push the release as as far out in the future as we could um, because we wanted we wanted to support it as uh, as good as we could. So uh, we uh, we already pushed the the release of the album once it was supposed to come out like uh in the fall 21 and everything was was not cleared up at, at that time but then the, we heard that maybe that denmark and other countries would would loosen the, restri- the restrictions so we thought that okay let's let's go for spring 22 and maybe the world is different there and hopefully Fingers crossed, uh, everything will will work out for the better this time. What are kind of the next concrete plans that you have? We have a couple of shows in in Denmark coming up, and then uh, we are looking into playing some festivals over the summer, and then hopefully start off a tour, which is more uh, like maybe uh, Sweden, Germany uh Denmark as well but we want to we have like a connection in some way to Japan because they have been really really good to us uh so we want to go to Japan again uh, obviously so we want to we want to tour uh, more heavily than we've uh, actually ever done before so hopefully that's going to happen <laughs>